All right, everyone. This video is the continuation of my series on the wide physics practical possible examination question. This question is adapted from wide past question. If you have been following my video, this is will not be a new video to you. It will be a familiar question to you. Now, in today's video, what I intend to do is to try and show you how to manipulate the readings without doing much about the practical first of all if you are you can pause the video and read through the question why i do that now i have written down the length that we are going to be using we are using d equals 20 cm 30 45 60 70 and 85 cm you can pause the video and read through the questions but because of time i will not be reading through the question so i'll just lead us to what I'm going to do here. Okay, in this uh, practice problem, we are to require the use of a potentiometer, but this is what I have done. I have connected the two ohm battery to the positive, to the negative terminal of this, the two ohm resistor rather, to the negative terminal of this cell. The positive terminal of this cell is connected to this key and the or positive terminal terminates at this. So I'm supposed to use two ohms, two ampere, but it's on five ampere. So I'm going to come, uh, pause the video and change it back to two ampere because this is what I'm to use. Okay, so I have connected that. You can pause anytime through the video to check the connection that I have just done. This is the positive terminal of the shell. So you can see this wire connected here to this key here. And this other end terminated at this positive terminal. The negative then is terminated to the resistor, and the resistor is connected to the neg negative terminal of the ammeter. So what I intend to do is to close the circuit and read the current through here without connecting it to the potentiometer. This is my potentiometer here, so I have not connected it to that. So what I'm going to do is I want to determine the internal resistance of this cell. That is what I want to determine. If I'm able to determine the internal resistance of this cell, I will be able to perform just one experiment on my potentiometer. Then, I'll, then henceforth, I will be able to manipulate the values for all other readings. So let me close the circuit, the switch. So I'm closing the switch. My pointer is on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is nine. And the division on the uppermost is 0 0.05. I've already done the division. So I'm going to multiply 9 by 0 0.05 so my result is 0 0.45 i'm going to write that down 0 0.45 record that as i naught this is my i naught here so i record that as i naught because i did not connect it to the potentiometer what i intend to do is to get the current when it is not that is flowing on this circuit when it is not connected to potentiometer by then i can calculate the values of the internal resistance. I'll have to keep that and then I'll connect to my potentiometer and jockey, then take the next reading, which I'm going to call I1. So I'm going to get that I1. When I get that, we we'll use these two values to get all of the values of our current flowing. So let me connect the potentiometer. Okay, I've done a slight alteration to my connection. This is my connection and this is my cell. This is my cell here. The positive terminal of my cell is now connected to the positive terminal mm -hmm. of this. The negative terminal of my cell remains with this. This is connected to the negative terminal of this. And this part is connected to the key. This positive terminal here is connected to the key. And the other end of the key is connected to the jockey. So what I'm going to do is to make close this and make contact with the meter rule at the 20 cm mark then i'll read off my current so make contact with the 20 cm mark so i have zero this is between eight and nine so that'll be 8.5 times 0 0.05 so let me multiply that out so my current is 0 0.43 to two decimal places so i'll record that down as i1 0 0.43 ampere so this is what i have here now the next we have to do is to ma manipulate the uh, uh, readings 
appropriate. So I'm going to pause this. After pausing it, I'll show a formula in which I'll use to manipulate my readings. Okay, we are all familiar with this formula. I equals E all over arrow plus arrow. Where arrow, the big arrow is the external resistor, which is the two ohm resistor that we use here. And arrow is the internal resistor. Don't forget that this is two ohms and the uh, cell is three volts. Because you have one plus one, one plus one point five plus one point five, that gives us three volts. So by so doing, we already I know what current here. So this is my current is I naught that I read off from the beginning without connecting to the potentiometer. So I'll plug all of this here and get the internal resistance, which is small letter R. Now this is what I've just done. Substitute zero point five four five for I naught. The uh, cell is three equals all of divided by 2 plus R. So what I simply do to make my work easier is to divide 0 0.45 by 3 and move shift this one up. So when I divide that, I have 6.67. Then shift this to this way to subtract it from this. So my internal resistance of the combined cell is 4.67 ohms. So having obtained the internal resistance, we can now calculate for the resistance of this length, of this wire, when the length was 20 cm that was the first thing that we did okay again applying this same formula here this formula here i have done it for the other current that we read through this uh, potential through this potentiometer so remember the current we read was 0 0.43 is equal to 3 divided by arrow total plus 4.6 4.7 is the internal resistance that we got from the previous reading the internal resistance is going to be constant. Now, when I apply that to this, I will cross multiply again and make arrow total the sort of formula. So, arrow for me, I just shift this one up here and divided this by this to shorten my job. So, I have arrow total plus 4.67 is equal to 3 divided by 0 0.43. That gave me 6.98. So, the next thing I have to do to get arrow total is to shift this one this way and subtract this. So, I have 4.3. At 6.98 minus 4.67, which cost of 2.31 ohms. Now remember that this circuit is a series circuit. This and this and C. So this is two ohms, and this we don't know the resistance of this. So what I did is R total is equal to the two ohm resistor plus R1, which is the resistance of the wire. So by doing the mathematics here, my resistance R1 is equal to 0 0.31 ohms. Now the next thing I have to do is to apply the formula of potentiometer resistance balance point now by simply applying this formula r1 over l1 is equal to r2 over l2 is equal to r3 over l3 is equal to r4 over l4 is equal to r5 over l5 is equal to r6 over l6 now we know what r1 is so from here if i equate these two together this and this together i will develop a formula to find r n once we have r n be able to calculate the current. So let me develop a formula to get R1 by combining these two together. So from what I have done here, by equating these two together, I have R2, I just push this one up and leave R2 here. So R2 is actually equal to L2 divided by R1 over L1. If I do it for all of this, you'll find out that R3 is going to be R1 over L1 times L2, L2 rather, and the same for all of this. So I developed a formula. So RON is equal to LN all over RO1 divided by L1. RON is the number of the position of the resistor. RO1, RO2, RO3, RO4, RO5, RO6. So RON is equal to LN all over RO1 over L1. But we know that RO1 over L1 is equal to 0 0.31 divided by 20. Because the L1, the length L1 is was 20. And RO one was 0 0.31. So when I divided through all this, I had my R1 over L1 equals 0 0.0155 ohm per cm. So the formula that relates RON now becomes RON equals 0 0.0155 N. So this is the simple formula that relates RON. So I'll just get RON. Once I get RON, we'll be able to calculate the current now using the previous formula again so let's get all our r1 r2 to r6 we already have r1 so we'll get r2 to r6 then we'll proceed 
So by applying this formula, so these are the values I arrived at for R to, to two decimal places. R to 0 0.47 ohms, R to 0 0.70 ohms, R to is equal to 0 0.93 ohms, R to is equal to 0 .0, sorry, 1.09 ohms, R to 5 equals 0 0.13. Sorry, this is R to 3 and this is should be R to 4. RO5 and RO6. So pardon me for that. This is RO4, RO5, and RO6. So these are the values. Now the next thing we have to do, I will develop another formula to now calculate I2, I3, I4, I5, and I6. So this is, recall this formula again to get the current now. Okay, let me call this IN. Remember, we have already got it I1, so we don't need that again. So I1, IN is going to E over ROT plus RO2 tab plus internal resistance. So this is given, the E is what, 3. And remember that the standard result we are giving, this one is 2 ohms, so it's already there, plus arrow N. Arrow ends are the value that we calculated here, plus this arrow here, plus the internal resistance. So we already know what the internal resistance is from our previous calculation. Our internal resistance was 0 0.31. So I'll just put 0 0.31 plus 2 there, add them together, leaving arrow. So that will give us this. So I have simplified that. So I n is equal to 3 divided by 2.31 plus R n. So let me just work all of this out and present the values. So I think I need to take us back. Our, our internal resistance arrow was 4.67, not 0 0.31. So we have to apply that. Yeah, so I have to uh, alterate this here and add it to this. So it was 4.67. So definitely this value is going to change to. So our R is actual, our I is actually 3 over 6.67 plus R1. So allow me to get the values of I2, I3 through I6. So after going through all of this, these are the results that I, I ended up with. I2 is 0 0.42, I3 is 0 0.41, I4 is 0 0.39, I5 is 0 0.39 or so. I tried to manipulate these values a bit so that I can reduce it, but I had the 0 0.39. Then I have I had IC is 0 0.38 ampere. So let me just put this on the table. Now, if you look at the mathematics that I've done here, it's just simple, uh, simple knowledge. And simple IQ using your your theoretical aspect of physics to arrive at the practical uh, practical what result. If you look at this, I developed a formula for I I N here. So this is what I have used to arrive at all of this. So I'll just show the composite table for you to get your value. You can then I evaluate. So this is my cons uh, composite table. In this video, I am not uh, plotting the graph, but I just want you to know. How you can manipulate your values you can go back to the uh, through the video if you are having any problems to see the way i have done uh, just my good if you have any problem you can drop your any of your questions on the comment section i will respond to them thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also share these videos so that others can benefit from it bye bye